Now, starting in the second semester, just about two months away, artificial intelligence AI will be piloted in select educational institutions. And from the next school year, the Ministry of Education and Training proposes to roll out AI education across the country. And according to the draft framework, AI education will be built around four core areas, human-centered thinking, AI ethics, AI techniques and applications, and AI system design. The program will be delivered in two stages, basic education, primary and secondary levels, and career-oriented education, which is high school level. At the basic level, students will be introduced to AI through visual and audio-based applications, gradually building awareness of personal data protection. Lower secondary students will learn fundamental concepts such as data and algorithms, practice using AI to support learning tasks and identify potential risks and biases. In high school, students will learn to design simple AI systems, develop advanced problem-solving skills, and explore career pathways in technology. Now, artificial intelligence is one of the fastest growing fields in science and technology. Its rapid development is reshaping human activity in profound ways and increasingly becoming an essential tool for lifelong learning and personal growth. The introduction of AI into school curricula has drawn significant attention from teachers, students, parents and technology experts in many countries. At Tân Minh Bi Primary School in Hanoi, several parents attend a first grade lesson on artificial intelligence. The teacher guides the children through different apps to create images and videos. Some of these students have already become quite proficient. Đầu tiên là con vào Google Gemini rồi tìm hình ảnh. Sau đó con vào Big Server và tạo tạo video lên ạ. Con cảm thấy thế nào? Con cảm thấy rất thú vị và vui vẻ ạ. Xã hội bây giờ càng ngày càng phát triển rồi, thì công nghệ nó cũng phát triển rất là mạnh. Và chúng tôi cũng mong muốn là con được học sớm để theo kịp được thời đại. Meanwhile, in a fifth grade classroom in Kentucky, USA, students work with a chatbot to write short skits for performance in front of the class. I've only seen imagery AI, but like when I saw that it can write almost a full entire basically a whole paragraph or a story. I honestly found that pretty amazing. The idea of AI in education, definitely understand the concern, but I feel like there's going to be so much more good that comes out once we as teachers figure out how best to use it. Countries such as the United States, the United Kingdom, China and the UAE are also developing plans to integrate AI into education. Many experts view this as an essential next step for the sector. For students, they should learn AI or application ASAP. So that is the meaning of the whole course. Why we put the professional application, stream it down, stream it down into the elementary level as early as possible, starting from primary and then secondary school. Um, it's absolutely going to be fundamental for these children uh, in their lives. Um, so it's really important that we t teach them about it, how, how we can use it. And was, from, from our point of view, we have a digital citizenship strand where we need to talk to them about the responsible use of AI and also the potential dangers of AI. Now, to gain a clearer understanding of the prospects of AI education in schools, as well as the key issues that need attention during the implementation and use of AI at the K-12 level, we're joined in the studio today by Dr. Ha Mạnh Hùng, Vice Dean of Applied Sciences Faculty, International School of Vietnam National University, Hanoi. Well, thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. Well, uh, the Ministry of Education and Training is planning to implement AI education in primary and secondary school starting next semester. So do you think this is the right moment to pilot such a project or should we wait some more to see how things go before, you know, implement such projects? As we know, right now the world has its own education context and other countries are implementing AI very quickly. So, for example, 
in the US we have. There are articles about applying and integrating AI into high schools and elementary schools, and also in China. Similarly, they are also introducing special AI courses in high schools. What about in Vietnam? So, in Vietnam, we implement and follow the articles like, you know, resolution number 57 and 71. We focus on applying science, technology, and innovation as well as digital transformation. So here is like an open way to apply any technology in education. So I think now is a good time. AI can be applied in high schools and elementary schools in Vietnam. Yes, so as you mentioned, this is a quite a good time for Vietnam to yeah, roll right. out such uh, measures or rather pilot such projects. Yeah. So can you point out specifically what opportunities or rather challenges Vietnam would face in rolling out such projects in this period of time? Oh yeah, you know, if you look around Vietnam, compare it with other countries, think about the culture, think about the environment in Vietnam. I think the challenge comes from human resources. We've been using traditional teaching methods in high schools for a long time. AI is another advanced technology. So most teachers are more familiar with the traditional way. We should take some time to launch a few short general AI courses to help improve the quality of all teachers, starting with those in high schools. This is a good and simple approach for Vietnam at the moment. I think it's very clear with uh, other countries that also apply AI in education that they face similar challenges. So how have they addressed these obstacles and what lessons can Vietnam draw from these um, the predecessors? I think we can learn something from this. First of all, let's consider applying AI for things like personalized learning. We don't need to use general AI because that one just adds more burden. The second thing we thought about is that the government should create a national AI curriculum that can be applied across many schools and by many teachers in Vietnam. The last point I think is ethics in AI. AI nowadays tends to have more issues like hallucinations and bias. We also can't tell which answer from AI is good or not. Using AI in a responsible way, that's a good next step for Vietnam. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today and sharing your insights. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Artificial intelligence is opening new horizons for general education, offering students opportunities to develop creativity, digital skills, and adaptability in a rapidly changing world. But for AI to truly enhance learning, its implementation must be thoughtful, supported by safety guidelines, ethical considerations, and a strong preparation for teachers. And that brings us to the end of today's program. Thank you for watching and see you next time on The Point.